Happiness is something we all strive for, but yet it's so sparse. Why is it so hard for humans of this day and age to find a feeling of contentness? According to doctors, happiness is a simple rush of dopamine to the brain. Philosophers believe it's a mindset or lifestyle, and yet zealots insist it's becoming unanimous with their deity. But who has all the answers? Like love and hate, happiness is unique to the individual. Can we visualize and seen in other people? We here believe it can, and it can also be quantified. We think we can share happiness between each other, and you can teach others happiness in various ways, or at least give them illusion happiness with sights of a better lifestyle. We took to the streets and found a few people we deemed to be happy in hopes of getting their advice to teach you how to be happier yourself. Here are their testimonies. Cut. Well, for me, I'd say my family keeps me happy. My mom and pops always gave me the attention I needed, <laughs> whether or not I deserved it. Um, I talk to them on the telly uh, at least once a week. Um, not to mention I have a special one at home that I get to look forward to seeing every day. His name's Vincent, but I call him Vinny. He makes me feel so secure and he's always there for me when I need a rescue. So I guess the love that I feel from them is really the source of my happiness. Cut. What makes me happy? Work, I guess. What else is there? I'm a builder by trade, and I've always been a goal setter. And getting to end of that task really makes me happy. If I ever come across a challenge in my work, I can always look at the light at the end of the tunnel. The reward is what's worth it. Cut. What makes me happy? In this modern day of age, we are given too much. We get to sleep on soft beds with full bellies. This has spoiled us. This has caused a lack of appreciation. And with all this depression that plagues our world, I just hope that my actions can make other people smile. A smile is contagious. It's like a sneeze. And if I can make a person smile, then I'll smile in return. Cut. Everywhere, we see people seeking pleasure, wealth, and a good reputation. While each of these has some value, none of them can occupy the place that is the chief good for which humanity should aim. For an act to be self-sufficient, it must be an end within itself, that which is always desirable in itself and never for the sake of something else. These are the beliefs of a nearly forgotten ancient philosopher, Aristotle. He believed the function of a man was to live a certain kind of life. This activity implies a rational principle, and the function of a good man is the good and noble performance of these. And if any action is well performed, it is performed with the appropriate excellence. If this is the case, then happiness turns out to be an exercise of the soul in that accordance with virtue. People should act for the sake of their actions, not for any ulterior motive. As if they do, they will always feel empty. Even the ancients warned us against our modern day age of instant gratification and personal glorification. Let's go back to the participants to see their theses on these toils. Cut. Who was that? Uh, Aristotle. He was a Greek philosopher. Well, I don't think I agree with him. If there's nothing in it for me, why would I work? If I can't look forward to something, what's the point of it? If I can't set goals for myself, what do I do with it? Whether it be money, a connection, anything. Why do something if there's nothing in it for you? 
And what's all this crap about you have your place in society? You can be whoever you want in the society. That's how we built it, right? That's how people have hope. When people see someone famous or successful, they think to themselves, that could be me. It keeps them going. It gives them hope. That's bull. Cut. Of course I've studied Aristotle. I've studied him deeply, actually. Him, Plato, and a few others. Philosophy's always fascinated me. I'm surprised history bores most people this day and age. You seem well versed. So what, you like to tell jokes, make people laugh? Happiness is unique to everyone. I just try and make people happy the way that I learned how to do it. But everyone has their own niche. With all that we are given, there is never a reason to fall into the pit of depression. This world often seems to distract people from true happiness. People need to learn how to be content and enjoy the moments that they have with their friends and family and try to find and spread joy. Thank you very much for the input. We'll be in contact soon. Cut! What, what are you doing here? I thought the documentary was over. What are you doing? Filmed in front of a live studio audience. It's late night. With special guest Felix Murphy. And now your host, James Bennett. Hello. Tonight we're with Felix Murphy, the star of the newly released and very well received documentary, Happiness is Yellow. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't call myself a star, you know, I'm nothing special, they kind of just pulled me off the street, maybe I had some good, good ideas. Well, a lot of people would disagree, they look up to you and your positivity. That's probably why you've been getting so many followers lately, you know your social's been blowing up, people want to see your happy smiley face. Yeah, that's true, I've never been used to this, all this attention, all these eyes on me, you know. I haven't really changed the way I live life, you know, I've always tried to spread happiness and spread joy. Yeah. Well, I'd say you've done just that. Suicide rates have dropped since the documentary's release, and a lot of critics like to say that it's because of your input. How do you feel about that? Not to lie, it feels really good, you know, to be part of the solution, you know. Uh, depression's been an epidemic for so long, it's good to see that the tides are finally turning. Why do you think depression's been such an epidemic for so long? I think now, and nowadays with social media, people are more interested in portraying their life than living their life, and they're worried about what other people think too much, and I think that has caused serious self-doubt. We're all thankful for your contribution, and very fascinated by your thoughts. But that's all we have. Can I help you? Oh, uh, I just recognize you from TV and other stuff. Oh. Yeah, your words are just really inspiring. I'm glad to hear that. Would you like to sit down? Thank you. So? So I watched your documentary. Well, not yours. The one you starred in. And I watched your interviews. And I follow you on, like, everything but I still feel like I'm missing part of your message. Message? I am no messiah. I know, I know, but still, I try so hard to be happy. I try to stay content with my day to day. Am I missing something? Am I doing something wrong? You really wanna know what the key is? Yes. You really, are you really sure you wanna know what the key is? 
Yes. Oh, follow us. Sometimes we all get caught up in this modern day of age. All these distractions plague our lives. Many people think these distractions can give them a purpose in life. It won't. Sometimes the only way to free ourselves from these binds is to get rid of them. So, like Lent? Kind of. But you really gotta know what it feels like to have nothing. Hey! It's alive! There's a forgotten ancient Greek philosopher named Epicurus. He believed that the only way to truly be happy is to be absent of fear and pain. You're about to experience the greatest fear, the fear of death. Once you experience this, you will have a true understanding and appreciation of life. You'll learn. You'll learn. What have we done? This is not happiness. People are spoiled, but we can't take everything away. We were wrong. Leave. I, I don't want to see you guys ever again. I knew you'd recover. I knew you were strong enough. You started so much, I knew it couldn't end here. I know you were deeper than what those fake tweets made you seem. Matter of fact, you're deeper than most people that people look up to. And you're deeper than the social media glitz and glamour. You were right. You may have some harsh techniques, but you can really teach people how to appreciate life and living without the fear of pain. What are you even doing here? I had spread your ideas and taught people to live life the way you do. What is this nonsense? I told you. I am not a messiah. No, it's not like that. People don't worship you. They listen to you. Your word has spread throughout the city. The people will learn how to be happy. Look at what you've built. Look at who you've impacted. Look at what you've done.
do you think? <laughs>